Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video will be going through my home fragrance empties for June 2020, or at least the second part of it. I already filmed a part one of this video a few weeks ago just because I'm going through so much home fragrance that sometimes I just need to make two videos instead of one so that I'm not talking your ear off for an hour. So this is part two. <laughs> um, this is not my first time filming this video. I'm having a rough go with my camera. So wish me luck that we can get through this and that it works this time, guys. <laughs> okay, let's talk about what I got through. First of all, I'm going to talk about candles. I burned a tropical banana white barn candle scent notes fresh banana creamy vanilla hint of tropical coconut okay this candle beautiful packaging by the way props this candle smells like shit now it just smells so burnt so nasty not into it but it was decent while it was burning the schmutz and soot you're seeing is a hundred percent my fault i sometimes use a cigarette lighter and hold my candle sideways to light it so it ends up burning sort of the side of the glass also i tend to pick the tops of my wicks off instead of cutting them properly sometimes i cut them properly depends on the day so that soot is my fault not the candle's fault the candle itself was okay. It reminded me of Banana Cabana from last summer, which I did not like, unfortunately. This one smelled like a banana sunscreen to me. I definitely got the coconut note from it, but yeah, I don't know. I don't seem to be a big fan of Bath & Body Works banana scents. However, I loved Banana Split Milkshake. That was a legit candle. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. If it comes back, I will buy it. But yeah, I don't know if I would repurchase that one, guys. It sort of improved at the halfway point. It became more authentic smelling, less just candle smelling. But eh, it was okay. Second candle I burned through was a Midnight Blue Citrus. This is a slightly older candle. I want to say I got this at Candle Day. I don't remember but regardless um i love midnight blue citrus for the mango scent that's in it y'all know i love anything with mango this candle was kind of funky and i don't know if you can tell but the label is crooked which is annoying but <sighs> this candle the first half kind of just smelled like an unscented burning candle which kind of annoyed me and then it it became better at the halfway point, which is weird. This has been happening to me lately with Bath & Body Works candles. Normally they go downhill at the halfway point. Um, more often than not lately, I'm finding they're improving at the halfway point. I don't know if it's just me or what's going on. But that Midnight Blue Citrus really came out of its shell the last half. And I could smell the notes, not just a candle burning, which was nice. <sighs> I don't know. I'm not having a lot of luck when it comes to that candle. I think if I repurchase, which I probably will, I'll melt it and not burn it. I also wouldn't mind that in a room spray. It's a great citrusy mango scent. I don't think mango itself is citrus, is it? Is it a citrus fruit? I don't think so. No. I don't know. If you know, leave me a comment below. <laughs> um, but I probably will repurpose that beautiful blue jar. It is stunning. Okay guys, before we talk Scentsy, I just want to mention some candle stuff. I have been warming in my Scentsy warmers some Bath & Body Works candles that I've chunked up. And I want to mention them because I've been enjoying them, but they're not empty. I haven't finished them, so they're not in this video because this is an empties video. Um, <laughs> when you chunk up a Bath & Body Works 3 wick to melt, that's a lot of wax to melt. Um, Bath & Body Works candles are strong. I mean, they melt really, really well. A chunk, I have a chunk of a Endless Weekend candle going in my living room right now. It's been like a week and I can still smell it. Like it's just beautiful. 
Um, so I have been warming some Endless Weekend, <laughs> obviously. I've been warming some strawberry pound cake, which I love. I've been warming marshmallow fireside in my bedroom, a few chunks here and there. And sun-drenched linen, which is so insanely strong that I could never burn. Um, I couldn't even finish the first candle I tried to burn, it was so strong. So chunked up, it's still insanely strong. I just use a smaller piece of wax. It's, uh, that is a beautiful fragrance, guys. So yeah, I've been warming those four. Let's talk Scentsy. <laughs> I uh, just purchased this. I will link in the description box below my recent Bring Back My Bar Scentsy haul, so you'd kind of know what I'm talking about here for reference, but uh, I just got this bar. And on cold, I said it smelled like relish. It still does. Um, if I look for it, I can smell fresh cut grass, but yeah, no, I just smell a relish. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't super strong, so I was able to warm through it without crying, but um, ooh, yeah, I always wanted to try that scent, so I'm glad that I tried it, and I probably will never warm it again. I wanted to hurry up and warm a Jumpin' Jelly Bean so I could decide whether or not to keep it in my club. If I keep my club, dot, 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 whole other thing. Um, I used to love Jumpin' Jelly Bean early on in my Scentsy days. It's a super sweet pear apple jelly bean type scent. It's very candy-like. Um, I don't love it as much as I used to. It's good, it was a great performer, super strong, not super long lasting, but super strong. So it was, you know, three days of strong, strong scent. So, I mean, I wouldn't say don't try it, for sure it's worth a try, but meh. I, I received another bar in my June Scentsy Club haul. I'm just gonna move you guys a little bit. And that will probably be my last bar, to be honest. I just need to move on. I don't love it the way I once did, so yeah. Let's talk about this. <laughs> I also just got this bar. Cherry Vanilla. The, this is a new scent to me. I have never, ever smelled cherry vanilla before. And let me tell y'all, damn, it's good. It was a beautiful cherry red colored wax. And on cold in the clamshell, and about the first day you warm it, I get a perfumey sort of a musk vibe with a super strong cherry and a little vanilla at the end. It's like a beautiful, beautiful, sweet perfume. And then on day two, it starts to change, day three, so on and so forth. Guys, cherry vanilla is unbelievable. It should be in the catalog. It's so good. And it's a really good, solid performer. It's not the strongest scent I've ever warmed, but it's, it's definitely strong enough for me, which says a lot. And it lasted. It lasted a, a good chunk of time. I'd say anything over three days I'm happy with. It was definitely over three days. It's beautiful. A little tip for me to you. Warm cherry vanilla with Stroop Waffle Delight. Just do it. Just do it. You can thank me in the comments below later. That's fine. If you guys like um, apple cherry strudel from Scentsy, as I do. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, but I just find it too weak and it's not the best performer. If you like that scent and just wish it was stronger, hey, if it's strong enough for you, awesome, I'm happy for you. If it's not, mix cherry vanilla with Stroop Waffle Delight. Enough said. Absolutely would repurchase, it's unreal. It's making me wanna keep my Scentsy Club. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> it's just great, guys. Uh, let's talk Mahalo Coconut. I finally, you know, bit the bullet and ordered one bar of it, even though it's a coconut scent. I'm not usually too obsessed with coconut scents. Beautiful label. It was a beautiful, light, teal-colored wax. This is very much like a sweet, super soft, warm vanilla sugar coconut milk scent that's how i would describe it even though i know that is not a, none of that is in the scent description guys it's beautiful this would be amazing in body care amazing it would be a great body wash it would be a great scentsy soak 
Oh, it's so pretty. But I can't smell it when it's warming. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's just my place or what. Just the open concept. I don't know. It's it's way, 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 way too soft. Like I literally had to look for it to smell it, stand over the warmer kind of thing. So, that's sad. Because it is a really pretty scent, but maybe in a room spray or something, it would be amazing. I don't know. What do you guys think? About, I know people love that scent, but I I don't know if I'm the only one who finds it performs that way, but it's just, uh, yeah, that was disappointing. I'm going to turn you guys just a little bit if I can. I'm using a different camera today, so I'm a little bit off my game here. Okay. Next, let's talk about banana berry. I keep talking about it. I keep saying I need to warm it. <laughs> it's been in my club for like a year. I believe this O Canada line came out last summer and I never warmed it. I just kept, kept collecting the bars. This scent guys, and you can tell, can you see the yellow staining of the clamshell? So that it, it obviously is a slightly older bar. It's about a year old. I find scentsy wax that has vanilla in it. I almost always get staining of the clamshell. Does anyone else notice that? I don't think vanilla is even in the description for banana berry, but what I get, and that's what you guys come here for, <laughs> I smell strawberries, bananas, and vanilla yogurt. Literally, I smell a smoothie made with strawberries, bananas, vanilla yogurt. It is beautiful. Oh, it's so, so good. It's sweet fruity but there's definitely a vanilla in here i get a creamy vanilla i don't care what sensi says it is so freaking pretty but it's not very strong it's not super i mean it, it was long enough lasting i got more than three days out of it but i use the entire bar in my living room into my kitchen and eh, i would give it like a medium strength at best unfortunately I guess it is what it is with that one but it might be one of those scents for me that I just love the scent enough that I don't care about how much wax I have to use I don't know we'll see it is a really really pretty fragrance though last bar last but definitely not least my beloved ocean I warmed this in my bathroom entryway as well as my bedroom this scent oh it's so good guys it kind of sort of has an atlantic air vibe to me which y'all know how i feel about atlantic air oh it's so pretty it literally just smells like an ocean i know it's a floral scent but oh it's so dang good i really wish this was in the catalog i would buy it all the time definitely one of my favorite bedroom bathroom scents Speaking of which, guys, if you want me to do a video series where I list off my favorite scents per area, like my favorite bedroom scents, bathroom scents, car, whatever, leave me a comment below if you would like that content. I've been thinking about it. So yeah, we'll see. This might be my last ocean bar. I don't know if I have one left in my stash, but that's just heartbreaking because it's such an amazing scent, guys. If you ever get a chance to smell it, please do. I feel like I need to move y'all again. You're looking a bit crooked. I'm so sorry. Hopefully that's the last time. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't tried ocean, I'm gonna highly recommend that you do that. I remember using ocean in the Scentsy fabric softener what do they call it scent soft and it was great in that too i remember getting that in a flash sale and i definitely didn't regret it so okay last but not least i wanted to leave this for the end of the video because i probably will rant a lot and if y'all don't want to hear it you can stop watching now <laughs> if you do please stick with me i appreciate you let's talk about my scentsy fragrance i almost said fabric my Scentsy Fragrance Flower Empty. Technically, this has been out of oil and dry. I mean, you can see how dried out that flower is um, for a while. And I did, I keep my empties on top of my fridge in these plastic bins that you see. 
I didn't put this in the bin just because it's glass and I just, I don't know, I didn't really want to. And I could still kind of smell it. I just kept it on top of the fridge. So I kept forgetting to put it in my empties. So let's talk about it. <laughs> I loved coloring it. I think it's super pretty, even faded. I almost think it's prettier if that's possible. I just love, I just thought it was the cutest thing. Here in Canada, a fragrance flower, I believe goes for $24 which is not cheap, obviously, but since he also claims that it lasts for eight weeks of fragrance. Guys, today is June 29th, I wanna say. I should know this. Yes, yes, I believe today's 29th. And I looked this up before filming this video, so I knew for sure that I was giving you true information. I posted that fragrance flower the day I colored it on February 20th. So I started using it, diffusing it, if you will, on February 20th. So February, March, March, April, April, May, May, June. We're at four months, right? I can still smell it, guys. <laughs> no joke. Like right now, sitting here, I can't smell it, but oof. It's like if you put your nose up to the flower, it's actually strong. I don't know if I mentioned this is Blue Grotto. This was my first experience ever with Blue Grotto was in a fragrance flower. A customer had ordered a bar. I smelled it. I fell in love instantly. Kicked myself in the ass four or five times because I didn't order it sooner. And decided, you know what? I'm going to try a fragrance flower. So why don't I try it in that Blue Grotto scent? You know, it seems like a great scent. So I did. And started diffusing it on February 20th, which is over four months ago. I can still smell it. <laughs> damn near speechless and I don't, I'm never speechless uh, yeah I would open the freezer and get a strong whiff of blue gr grotto I would be washing the dishes and I would get a strong whiff of blue grotto sometimes I can still smell blue grotto over the wax I have warming in my kitchen like uh, I don't know it's not the strongest scent but holy frig, it was long lasting. Like I don't, I can't say enough. Like for 24 bucks, four months, come on. And yes, it, it, it's dried out so it may not look as pretty. Uh, I guess that's a matter of opinion, but yeah. And I know they're not all gonna be that strong or that long lasting, it depends on the fragrance. And maybe I just got super lucky, but I would say if you're sitting on the fence debating on trying a fragrance flower and it's available in a scent that you love, I would say try it one time, you know? And if you hate it, that's fine. I'm sure you won't hate it, but <laughs> guys, like, and I'm very honest, you know that. I think Scentsy's expensive. I'm a consultant. I'm gonna tell you that anyway. Scentsy's expensive. It can become a very expensive habit. But I don't know, 24 bucks, I mean, and I would say that fragrance flower is great for say, so I moved it actually. I did a review video on this and at the time it had been in my bathroom. I ended up moving it to my entryway. Good performance there, my entryway is tiny. And then I had it in my kitchen for a bit. It was decent. So I tried it in three different rooms. It is not a living room or even a bedroom scent for me. It's just not strong enough. But in the kitchen, bathroom or entryway, it was stronger than, some, uh, a lot of the wax I use. I can't even say some. It was stronger than a lot of the wax that I wore. So, yeah, just try one. I don't know what else to say. I think you won't regret it. Um, it definitely made me fall in love with Blue Grotto. So, I probably would buy another one and I probably would buy Blue Grotto. I, will, I also debated on a black raspberry vanilla one. I was thinking maybe an aloe water and cucumber. I considered Luna for a minute because I love Luna, but I think it would be way too soft. I really do. I think I will only like a fragrance flower. I would only probably like the stronger fragrance flowers, but yeah, I just had to update you guys on that. I don't even think I'm gonna throw this away today because it still looks cute and I can still smell it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it back on top of my fridge and you know, eventually I'll get rid of it, but it still looks cute. and. If I get the odd whiff of it, uh, that's even better, right? So yeah, that's my empty full review of that fragrance flower. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for sticking with me for 20 minutes. I do appreciate it. If you liked the video, please 
give it a thumbs up. I will link below my fragrance flower video, my bring back my bar haul, and my part one of my June empties. So the other half of what I got through. This is the last half, obviously. If you dig this kind of content, guys, please subscribe to the channel for more. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you're all doing really, really well. You're all happy and healthy. And until next time, guys, I hope you're all having a wonderfully scented day. Bye.